Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to day 269 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Today we're talking about step three in our confidence goals process, our goal process that we identified in January. Uh, we're going through it for each major area and aspect of our life in the life framework. I use a nine part life framework, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships, contribution, confidence, and communication. We've done all of those areas with the exception of confidence, which we're doing right now, and contribution, which we're going to cover next month. We're going to go through day by day, step by step, little bit by little bit, single daily action to focus on the area of contribution. How do we show up in the world? Our contribution, how are we adding value to the world? Things like that. That's next month. Right now, we're on step three of our confidence goal process, which is to break it down into steps, meaning break our confidence goal down into steps. So I actually started doing it and my, I changed my mind. Remember yesterday I said, nope, nope, I'm not going to do starting a new business and having confidence doing that because I've been there, done that lots of times, and I really don't struggle with that. So that's not a very good one for me to push myself out of my comfort zone to be confident and actually work on. However, body image, body positivity, my physical appearance is something that I just pretty much ignore and I know that needs to be improved or changed or worked on. And so... I am breaking down my goal of, and my confidence goal of coming to terms with and improving my physical appearance so that I am comfortable in my own skin. That's our idiom for today for Super Size Your Business. And it turns out it was the perfect one for me as I'm dealing with this particular topic today. And it also applies to growing and building and supersizing our business, which I'll talk about in that segment next. But for right now, physical appearance, I broke mine down into about five or six steps so far and it might need to be broken down more we'll see but i want to increase my confidence with respect to how i show up in the world literally physically how i look now i already know that step one is to do an appearance audit and part of that is going to be getting an expert getting a person that i can trust to actually give me feedback but even before i do that i need to go back and define what is body positivity for me, what does that even mean to me? What does my identity and my image and uh, what do I, what is it right now in my mind, which is probably not accurate, and then what do I want it to be? Then I can do an appearance audit and say, well, how am I matching up with that in different areas and aspects of my life? Hair, for example, face, skin, makeup, clothing choices, etc. I pretty much randomly pick out what I'm going to wear every day. Hey, I probably shouldn't admit that, but I do. I'm like, okay, what color do I feel like today? What am I going to wear? Or what's my topic? Do I have any clothes that match up with the topic that I'm talking about today, either with respect to the Supersize Your Business piece of content I'm going to create in the morning or, and the idiom I'm sharing? Because I've been doing idioms for days, years now. I, don't, I need to come up with something different, but that was my way of dealing with moving. Long story. <clears throat> Actually, it's a really short story, but it's not pertinent to this topic. So then step two was to do a SWOT analysis. I like to do strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat type analysis framework. I like to use that framework for just about everything. And that includes my personal life and different areas of my life, not just business and, and scientific things, etc. And then I also want to do a um, TFB audit. I don't remember what that means. Anyway, I wrote it down. I'll have to think about it. Remember what that means. <laughs> And then body image, style, clothing, again, hairstyle, makeup. Uh, I, I'm i going to say right now, if you know somebody that is an awesome makeover person uh, or a, an awesome image type identity person, I could definitely use some help. And so I know I'm going to have to find an expert because it's just like picking out my own glasses. Where are my last pair of glasses? Don't necessarily pick out the best glasses for myself. I let other people pick them out for me now. And that's always given me a better thing because people can look at us objectively, right? They don't have all the opinions and all the past uh, experiences. They can say, oh my gosh, these look awesome on you. And then pretty soon we see them and we're like, oh yeah, I guess they do look okay on me. So that, that's my example. It's like picking out my own glasses, uh, picking out my own hairstyle, haircuts. That's hard for me too, obviously, since I'm still pretty much wearing my 80s hair, my 1980s big hair. Although I, I've always liked curled hair. My hair naturally sticks straight. And for some reason, I've always liked curled hair, curly hair. All right. So our action item today is to take your confidence goal, whatever it is that you've selected to work on this 
month and achieve by the end of this year, pick that goal and start to break it down into big measurable steps because we want to look at milestones, timelines, and uh, actions. What do we need to do to make each of those individual steps happen? And are the steps dependent on one another? Do I have to define things before I go out and find an expert? Not necessarily, but some steps are dependent on one another. I can't or I won't choose to get a new haircut or a new hairstyle or a new makeup artist or whatever or help with some of those things until I've talked to an expert, until I've gotten a plan in place for each of the steps to start implementing and taking action on that plan. Of course, there's a write-up in Guide 17, or there will be when I put it online, uh, of the Get Up and Go Challenge private Facebook group page. Guide 16 will be this video and all the other videos. Guide 15 is all last year's challenge videos. Uh, this is the first year I've done a write-up, and I will and totally have admitted I'm not doing the write-up. I'm just asking the questions in AI because I started out in February saying, I'm going to test out this AI stuff and see if it can help me to do write-ups or do different things. And sometimes it's really, really good. I don't, I admit, I don't go in and edit it. I don't read it. I don't proofread it necessarily. I skim through it, but I'm not doing any editing with it because it's just an extra piece of information. We can take it with a grain of salt. Some days it's great. Other days I'm like, that is not even close to what I asked. And so then I try to ask a better question, but that doesn't necessarily mean I ask the right question to get what I want out of it. Anyway, it's kind of like having a, a, a prompts and things in other areas and aspects of our life. It helps us to get started writing, et cetera. So that's, that's, why I, that's how I use it. But not in this instance. I've just been using it for supplemental information. All right. Any questions, ask. Otherwise, have fun with this. Break this goal down into steps because if we improve our confidence, it improves absolutely every other area and aspect of our life. All right. Have a great day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.